you would have asked me probably eight to 10 years ago, if I was ever coming back to Valdez to ride or to challenge myself to be able to make it from top to bottom, I'd probably laugh and say, not likely. I mean, it's a challenge, it's a test. Your physical capability is definitely paramount, but also your mental strength to overcome the fear and anxiety of sometimes impending doom or certain death. But there's a certain amount of living sense that comes out of that too, that after you make it through that testament, I've never felt more alive. You come up here and um, you disconnect. You know, you don't have much opportunity for transmissions back to the lower 48. And that's a good thing. You know, out of all the places I've been to snowboarding, Alaska is the place. For snowboarding, it is the place to make it or break it. It's the, the end all be all. It's the gnarliest stuff that you can get on and it's the best, scariest, fun, death defying, everything above. It is the place to snowboard. You have these mountains that are just, they're, they're so steep. There's so much vertical rise, you know, from the sea. There's just an energy here that's, you know, just bigger than, you know, words can describe. look at it as a life or death test of like you're going up there and you're saying your last goodbyes because it might not come back type of the trip but after getting a chance to experience it for a couple times I realized if you block out the massive scale and size of the overall run and the flank of snow you're on and really just dissect it by what's in front of you it's like taking a hundred powder days and combining them into one run if you surf, you go to Tabaru, and you get a ride a wave that goes forever, where you can truly start feeling the shape of your surfboard. Up here, the, the sustained slope and how long you can just do powder turn after powder turn, you can start feeling these fine-tuned aspects of snowboarding that you don't get the chance to feel that in the snowboard any place else. And uh, I could get down on that. at lines and the way he translates his creativity to the mountains, you know, it's just so solid. To this day, I'm so blown away with his power, his timeless power and style, like, you know, it's, he just always blows my mind, man. <laughs> I didn't get the 80 footer. <laughs> <laughs> My first trip to AK was with Gooch. Our bonding experience through that was like as if we had gone to war. And then you come back and you try to relate that to regular civilians that just can't understand because they've never been there before. So you share this bond and this pact and carry that with you for life. We've been on surf trips, skate trips, snow, life trips together. But to be back up here with Gooch, this time, this place, and have everything come together and have the conditions be right, there's no accidents.
calculation and understanding of a slope to be able to draw the most potential out of it. That comes with experience and time on slope. And Gooch has got both of that in spades. Time, it just goes, you know? And like, I, I don't know, I can't imagine just like not wanting to ride and like not being excited when it starts snowing. And uh, you know, I just see it as like a way of life. And like, once you're in it, man, it's, you're in it. Just going for the ride. Juiced it, jibbed it, buttered it, yeah, copy that. and then finished it with a little. The snow is incredible. I mean, it's completely mind blowing. The stuff we could ride, like just, you know, I had the best turns of my life today, and just, you know, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm just my mind blown. I can't, I can't put it into words really. Every run that we took was the best run of our lives. <laughs> so you're, you're doing this amazing run, and then that was the best run of your life. And then you take the heli up, and then the next one was better than that one. It was like it just compounded, and it just was better and better and better, and it's like this excitement that you can't even control, and you just wanna like rail every turn and go as fast as you can. Maybe you get a little sketched out or maybe something pops around you and it just like spikes your adrenaline. And then within a matter of seconds, you're at the bottom and you're just bursting with excitement. And then right behind you are two of your favorite snowboarders of all time and they come down and they have the same excitement. It's like the first time all over again for them too. Brian and Jamie, they're a part of a generation that really profoundly developed snowboarding. Jamie developed style, and Brian really pushed for the backcountry movement. They were the first of many generations to come, so I think that they should always be recognized as professional snowboarders, and they deserve every pow turn they can get, especially in Valdez. They deserve trips like this. I'm hitting it first. You hit it first and just let us know how the snow is. And yeah, and then and then okay. you, you only hit it once and then we get to hit it. And then when we're done, then you can hit it. Then I can hit your holes? Yeah. Cool, good plan.